Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Jess, uh, <coughs> Planner Flossum, and today I'm going to do a tutorial uh, about how I made this shiny planner cover. So if you're interested in that, stick around. So this is the cover that I made, and it is out of a jelly roll, I don't know what you call it, vinyl material. Uh, it's the first time that I worked with it, but there... It is. I'm going to use, so I ordered a pack of this vinyl stuff on Amazon, um, and I'm just using the remnants of that pack. It came with, I think, eight sheets, and so I'm just using the remnants of that pack to make this one. I made two covers, so this will be the third one that I've been able to make out of that same pack. One thing... I'm gonna use that. Uh, one thing about this vinyl stuff is once you have thread through it, the holes are there forever. Whereas with regular fabric, uh, you can kind of manipulate it a little bit more. So that's just something to think of. I saw a couple videos on YouTube and they recommended using like clips like this and paper clips to help hold your uh, thing together. And so that's what I'm gonna do because you don't want to pin pin through it. So, because I like the way the black looks. I think I'm just not going to worry about it having a line down the middle. I'm going to go ahead and rip this out. Rip this seam out. Oh yeah, I guess I should say up front, uh, the things I'm going to use do include a sewing machine. So if you don't have a sewing machine, um, I don't know, I guess you could glue it. It depends on how sturdy you want the cover to be. But sewing machine is, for this one, a must. Also, a heavy straight edge and a rotary cutter. It's not necessary, but it helps cut this vinyl so much. It's so much easier to cut the vinyl. To make sure that I have room for all of my stickers once I use the cover, I'm using this filled out Passion Planner Daily to make my pattern. So if you've already got one, that's great. If not, it's, you know, it's fine. Um, so those are the main things that you've got to have and then whatever material you want to cover, cover it. Mommy sewing, you gonna come help? You can't touch stuff. Mommy. Yes, baby. So you can see it permanently leaves the dots, but I feel like on this side, it's gonna be kind of on the spine, so I don't think it's gonna matter um, at all. What are you doing, baby? How are you doing? That. Mommy's making a planner cover. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is line these up. These are the edges that are straight. So that's gonna be the middle. Oh, oh thank you. Can I have the other ones since you took all but one? Um, I don't know if that's long enough. Okay, that's gonna be exactly long enough because I want this to kind of cover the spine. So it's gotta overlap it just a little bit. Thanks, my darling. Hi. Hi, you saying hi? Okay, so I've got this center piece cut. Um, I think... Oh, thank you. Do you want to eat those? Because I don't... So the way I did this one is I had the three different colors long ways. Because the problem is these sheets come too small to just wrap around the Passion Planner. I've watched some tutorials where people with Hobonichi weeks are able to do it with just one piece and it all wraps over. Um, but I had to piece them together, which is fine because I like the way it looks. Um, you may not have the rest of your color, love. Um, and so, but I don't have enough to do, I was kind of measuring it out. I don't have enough to do it long ways with the pieces that I've got left because you have to have at least part of it fold over so that that makes the little pocket that holds it on. Um, this one, I was only planning on making two. And so you'll you can see the pocket on this side. Hey, honey, stop. You can see the pocket on this side is black. Um, 
because that's what I cut out. And then I did the tan on this side. So you just kind of got to piece it together. Um, but it's easier when you, if you first do it, it's easier because you have all of the different colors to choose from. Um, so the first two that I made, I wasn't having to piece them together quite this much because I had, I had more choice. Yeah, so this is going to be big enough for me to just fold this side over um, and that side over. The pockets aren't going to be as big as they are on this, but that's okay. I'm using a bright purple thread because with this fabric, there's no hiding the thread. Um, I guess if you got clear thread, I don't know if that exists, but there's no hiding it. And so I went ahead and, and chose a color that would look good with any of the ones that I was using. This one, on this one I did a bright like teal because there's no hiding it. And this is, it's not perfect by any means. Um, like this goes boop, boop, boop. But from a distance you can't tell so it doesn't really matter. Um, another hint that I found online was to use a leather needle. Um, this one is going to be, it's a brand new one because I don't use needles that are that thick very often. Um, I picked it up at Joanne's. Rocket, stop. Hey, puppy, stop. Uh, and that's just going to help go through the vinyl. You also want to make sure that the width is wide um, and the lengths of the stitches is kind of long. And honestly, I can't remember. I was, that was a recommendation on a YouTube channel. I just searched uh, sewing on vinyl, uh, I think is the, what I searched for. If I can find a video that I watched, I'll link it down below. Okay, putting that on there. Then I'm just gonna do my best. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm just going to plop this here. Now open it up. And then I'm going to fold this over. Okay, I need it to be a little bigger than that because it's got to be able to slip through. And I'm going to clip it. So that's going to be the first side. And then, um, actually, I want this black to show up more. I do the pink. I don't know. It's hard to decide. Um, but I want the black to be over more. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have this be the front, so now I'm going to go along all the way around this edge, and then I'll cut that off in a second, um, and then when I know that for sure fits, I'll do the same thing at the top. I'm going to go ahead and cut along this just so I know that it's straight, because that's going to help me uh, keep it lined up.
Okay, so this is the part that matters the most. Um, not bananas about the back, but that's fine. Um, and it just matters because if I do it too small, it won't fit. So it's better to have more of a, a seam allowance. Uh, I think if I do it like right there. not too bad. Um, I need to, I'm going to go ahead and sew a little rounded edge on each corner. It's actually quite big. I'm going to, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to sew it a little closer on the bottom and then I'm going to round out these edges. Hey, no, don't climb on here, honey. No, stop, get down, get down. Yeah, you don't need to climb on there. Stop, stop, get down, get down, get down. Hey, no, no climbing, get down. Hey, hey look out, I'm gonna use the cutter and you need to not be close to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna round the corners off on this hot mess and trim off all the excess strings. And there's my shiny cover. Oh, I forgot about the band, Uno Momento. Okay, so I'm not going to fuss with this because this string is just ridiculous. Um, but eventually I will put on a uh, elastic band. And you can see this one was very simple. Um, ah, sorry. I utilize my pockets all the time. Um you can see this one's very simple. I just poke, cut a little hole in the center and I pulled the elastic through and then knotted it down here. And this has held up just fine. Um, I can't remember. I think I might have tied little knots at the end of these to get them through the hole because you don't want them to be too big, but that has worked just perfectly. So I definitely recommend doing that, but use the right elastic stuff, not whatever not whatever this stuff is because it is not meant for that so that is my tutorial um i hope you enjoyed it if you end up making one please tag me uh on instagram at planner flotsam because i would absolutely love to see what you all come up with um if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i will get to them as quickly as i can be sure to like and subscribe my spring and winter have been very busy so i haven't been posting a lot on youtube but i always love any feedback you guys have to give so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye